I made a poll recently asking if you guys want me to make an ultimate deranking guide. The answer was a yes. If you want to hear about the process of deranking right away, click the timestamp, but I want to talk about something first. I understand that smurfing is bad in games with ranks. Hunt doesn't have a ranked system. There's skill based matchmaking. Skill based matchmaking that's tied only to your kills and deaths. You know how stupid it is in a game with a clear objective. The MMR system is easily exploitable, so easily in fact, that you can derank a full star even in a game where you wipe the entire lobby and extract with two bounties. I was going to make a full video giving my solution to the problem, but I can't be bothered because Crytek is not going to do that anyway. I'm gonna briefly explain my idea though. Make a casual queue with no SBMM at all. Forcing SBMM on everybody just made the game miserable. Like I'm actually struggling to have fun playing this game anymore, which wasn't the case when I could turn off SBMM, because every match without SBMM was enjoyable. People weren't afraid of interacting. Add a ranked queue. In ranked queue you get a small amount of ranked points for kills, but not based on the other player's rank. A fixed amount for each kill you get in a game. You would get the majority of ranked points for banishing the bounty and extracting with a token, because the objective of the game is the boss, not kills. Make it matter. Make it so the ranked queue costs ranked points on entry. The higher the rank, the higher the cost to queue up. Then sum up the kills and bounty at the end. Stop punishing people for getting downed and rezzed in a match. This is stopping people from interacting with other players, resulting in the high MMR games being filled with bush rookies and bounty layer campers. How to deal with campers? Make a ranked points penalty for staying in game longer than 15 to 20 minutes. That time frame is how long my usual double bounty matches are, so it's plenty of time to finish a game if you just stop crouch walking everywhere. This is not the topic of the video. If I see enough people interested about how I would implement ranked into the game, I'll do it in a different video, so let me know in the comments. If you have more than 10 working brain cells, then it shouldn't be hard to figure out the best way to derank, but a lot of you are disgusting KD farmers and use Soul Survivor to derank because it doesn't lower your bounty hunt KDA. It's much slower, and if you're sad enough to care about KD in a game without ranked mode, it's time for you to close the video and go back to the bush you came from. Alright, now that all of the tryhards closed the video because they got offended, we can actually start. Basic rules of deranking first. Hans SBMM is based purely on KD, which means you lose MMR only by dying to other players. If you die to AI, blow yourself up or die to fall damage, you don't lose MMR. Step 1. Get Necromancer trait. Necromancer trait allows you to self-revive if you're a solo. It's also a very scary word to say out loud as a content creator, so I'm gonna refer to it as self res from now on. There are multiple ways to prepare self res trait on your hunters. Option 1. Recruit your full roster of hunters, then play the game normally. Every time you use Dark Tribute you have a chance to get 2 upgrade points. Those can stack up quite a bit as you can see. Option 2. Play the game normally, and when you manage to extract, leave that hunter for the ranking later, and play with a new one. And option 3. Get a free hunter for some basic loadout, and equip them with some dynamite. And stamina shots of course, you always need stamina shots. Go into the game, kill all of the AI you see, meatheads are a great source of XP, that's why you take the dynamite. Also, make sure to pick up the clue. Usually, clearing one compound is gonna give you enough points to get self res It's not that expensive, you just need 4 upgrade points. After clearing one compound, go to the extraction and get out of the game. As you can see, I killed 18 monsters and picked up one clue here, which nice. gave me just enough XP to get self res In the next game I killed 25, and again got one clue, and ended up with an extra point. Then third game I killed 2 meatheads and didn't get a clue, and unfortunately I missed a bit of XP for the last upgrade point I needed. Step 2. Respec your health bars. Recently Crytek made health bar respecs free, which means anyone can get 5 5 bars total, which means you can die 5 times, and dying to players is the key to the ranking. And finally, step 3. Q solo versus trios. Hans SBMM tries to balance out the matches, which means that if you go into the match outnumbered, the game tries to hold your hand by throwing you into lower MMR lobbies. If you're 4 stars and queue up for solo versus duos, you're gonna end up in a 3.5 star match MMR lobby. If you're 4 stars and queue up for solo versus trios, you're gonna end up in a 3 star match MMR lobby. This is extremely dumb, because if you get killed by a player with lower MMR than yours, you lose a lot of MMR. If you kill someone with a higher MMR than yours, you gain much more MMR. Even if you play the game normally as a solo versus trios because you think it's more of a challenge, it's actually technically easier than playing solo versus duos, because in the case of duos, the game doesn't lower your MMR as much as in trios. Once you're in the game, all you have left to do is find someone and let them kill you. Then self rest when the timer goes away, die again and do that until you can't get up anymore. Extra steps if you're feeling spicy. If you really want to, you can use a hunter with death cheat and relentless combo. Relentless makes it so you don't lose a bar when you die, but you still die 
die, so your MMR gets lower. So you can die 6 times in total, or more if you get relentless multiple times per game. Death cheat just makes it easier to save the hunter that's already got self rest. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions or want to discuss something or have anything to say in general, leave a comment. I might make a Q&A type video as a follow up, because there's many things I have to say about self rest and the abuse of MMR system. But honestly, I don't remember all of it. If you like the video and want more similar to this, also let me know. And subscribe, that'll be great. Since the video is pretty short, I wanted to see how fast it is to rank from 5 stars to 3 stars. It took me 4 games and in those games I died about 17 times. Clips I got on the way are beautiful, so enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> I did kill him. That was that. Your friend is burning. What are you shooting at, brother? Really, man? You're not gonna get your friend. It's no way, right? That he just went to the extraction. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. What a scumbag of a friend. This is the KD farming I'm talking about. These are five star lobbies. Well, probably four star because I'm going in solo. But still, you're gonna leave your friend. Just like that. That is crazy, man. Bleibt jetzt doch mal liegen! Fuck that he's like. Where the hell was the other guy? What? It wasn't just one guy that left them. It was two. The fuck? How does that happen? What's up, man? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I guess, sure, I'm gonna get out, just so I can get more health bars <laughs> and then derank more. As you can see, deranking goes very quickly.
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> he died to the AI. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, it's oh, hilarious. Why are they there? Look at them. Jesus, man. That was a trio. I wonder if all of them. I they actually did. They all died. So I killed the whole trio. <laughs> Oh no, this guy was completely new to the game. That's his second game. Oh no. <laughs> oh, how about you, man? It's also completely new. I wonder, man, about this guy. But yeah, look. Okay, you're telling me that skill-based matchmaking works, but I get placed into the game with a guy that's only played two ever games, sorry, two games ever in English. And then the guy that killed me has 1.4k kills. He's not new to the game. Yeah, wait, he has 2000 hours and... What? 2000 hours and only 1.4k kills. Brother, I have 5000 kills <laughs> with 1.1k hours. I think this sums up the video. You know how to rank. I'm at 3 stars already just by playing two hunters. So yeah, there you go. Have fun. I guess. And four stars already. Man, why can I even get placed with those people? Look at how little 
skills they even have. Like, skill-based matchmaking doesn't work. You cannot tell me that it does. Look. Look how many they have. Fucking 20, 100. Look how many kills I have. 5,000. I should never be in the same lobby as these people.